We're Adam and Joanne from InspiredTaste.net, and welcome to our kitchen. We're showing you how to make our favorite Caesar salad. This is a classic recipe, and we just love it. Let's start with the dressing. You can make this by hand or use a blender or food processor. I'm going to show you how to do it by hand since we know everyone can do it. I'm mincing both anchovies and garlic until a very fine paste. Anchovies add lots of briny, salty, and umami flavor to the dressing. Even if you don't enjoy them by themselves, I bet you'll love them added to this dressing. To get the garlic and anchovies into a paste, I'm scraping the mixture back and forth across my cutting board and then mincing. See how fine it gets? Now set that aside while we get the remaining dressing ingredients ready. Set a dishcloth down on your work surface and place a bowl on top. This helps to steady the bowl we will use to make the dressing. To make the dressing rich and creamy, we'll need one raw egg yolk. If you are against using raw egg, we do have another Caesar dressing recipe on Inspired Taste that does not call for them. A link is shared. To the egg yolk, add some fresh lemon juice and a little Dijon mustard. Grab a whisk and whisk until frothy. Now with the bowl steadied by the towel underneath, you should be able to whisk with one hand while you slowly add the oil using your other hand. It's important to continue to whisk until all of the oil is added. It takes a minute or two, and yes, it does require a bit of work from you, but it's simple, promise. And don't forget, if you have a blender, food processor, or an immersion blender, you can use it instead of doing this by hand. Making by hand is my preferred method, and hey, I get a mini arm workout at the same time. Okay, now that the dressing is emulsified and thick, we can whisk in some Parmesan cheese, as well as the anchovies and garlic from earlier. Give the dressing a taste and add any needed salt and pepper. Don't forget, the full recipe with ingredient amounts is on Inspired Taste. The next component to a great Caesar salad is croutons. You can buy them or make your own. It's easy. Cut or tear day-old bread into small pieces and then add them to a bowl. Drizzle in some olive oil and season with salt and pepper. I'm also adding a dried herb blend, which is completely optional, but a great idea if you have a favorite blend to use at home. Toss everything together and then spread onto a baking sheet. Bake the bread in the oven until crisp. It doesn't take long. Okay, it's time to make the salad. I've got some fresh romaine lettuce in the bowl. To it, add a few spoonfuls of the dressing, give it a good toss, and then scatter over some croutons and add a bit more Parmesan cheese. A vegetable peeler is helpful to get those cheese shavings. If the salad seems like it needs it, add a drizzle or two of extra dressing and then serve. Enjoy! Thanks for watching. If you love this video, we have lots more. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and say hi on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. We're at Inspired Taste.